Thank you, Goss, and uh, Gov, thanks for joining us today as well. It's been, uh, it's been a good day so far. Now, for you, tell us what was the worst thing about being injured pre-season, having surgery, not being able to join in the main group, getting to all the banter. Was that disappointing, or did it actually give you a chance to work on your personal business as you're trying to grow? <laughs> uh, yeah, I never thought I'd say it, but um, the most disappointing thing is I couldn't run. Um, I'm not one to... <laughs> Well, that is it. Running, That's but, a surprise um, coming from you. <laughs> yeah, I just know how important it is now, obviously, to, uh, to get a good pre-season and get as much run in the legs as possible, um, which I, I missed out on a little bit, uh, but I was lucky enough that their fitness staff uh, put a good program together for me to, uh, to make sure I didn't get too fat. Gov, you were in there. <laughs> 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 you shut me up there. Um, you were announced as one of the vice captains earlier this year. Can you talk us a bit through um, your evolution as a leader at the football club? Yeah, um... Yeah, it's, it's sort of come pretty quick, I guess. Uh, it's never really been an ambition for me to be a, a leader. I've never really strived to be a leader, I guess. I've, I've sort of just played footy and enjoyed it. And um, obviously, the, the programs we've got at the footy club sort of bring it out in you. Um, it's starting from, from Gavin Bell and uh, all the programs that he sort of runs with the leadership side of things. Uh, obviously, doing them slowly blossoms you into to the leader you are. And uh, they give you the best opportunity to lead. So. Uh, and then obviously getting voted by your peers is, um, is the main one. So uh, I've always said to, to uh, anyone, if I got voted, I'm happy to do it. But um, yeah, I've sort of just rode the wave, I guess, with it all. And it starts with just playing good footy, I, I think, and getting your own backyard right. And then, yeah, it's sort of blossoming into it naturally. Yeah, it's really well deserved. And you recently welcomed a second bub to your family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Congratulations on that. Yeah. How do you find having two children changes the dynamic with football? And do you think it's helped you in any way? Oh, yeah, it's helped me in a way. It's definitely, I'm definitely a lot busier. Uh, you want, <laughs> you want lot us less to play sleep. more interstate games, don't you? So we can actually, you can get away. You want to yeah, get away and yes. play interstate so it's 14 funny, times. It's funny, the travelling stuff, I've always been the guy that likes to travel just the day before. I just want to get over there. Now I'm asking to travel three or four days out. <laughs> so um, that, that changed pretty quick. But um, no, it, it is hard. It's, you've got to balance it, I guess. Um, you've got other stuff outside of footy as well that, that I do and... Um, just making sure I'm balancing it, I guess. And I'm pretty fortunate, actually. The footy club helps out a lot with us, us boys that uh, have a few kids and a few things going on outside of footy. We're pretty lucky. Well, Gov, uh, thanks for joining us, mate. And there's a, there's a great season ahead of you. We wish you very much the best for getting through and playing another cracking season. And, uh, mate, just remember, no handshaking, none of this. Yeah. Use your boot or just headbutt someone, all right? Yes, so, you're all right, mate. I've got, I got a good head for it as well. I'll good man. And thank you, mate. Back to you, Goss. Cheers, Goss. Well done. Thanks, Ross, Dana, and thanks to Gov.